for us, it's the fog this morning. Inverness, you're fogged in. Dade City, you're fogged in. Almost everybody is fogged in. We've got inland locations really in the 50s and 60s. It's a mild morning. Winds are light. Look at all these light, 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 light winds. So we've got this fog that we're contending with. And the visibilities have been really between about a quarter mile and zero from Polk County up to Citrus County. So folks, please understand that we're going to deal with this the next several mornings. And every day you're going to have another round of fog. And it's always different. It always sets up differently every morning. For instance, this morning, a lot of fog. Not so much yesterday, so we shall see. The forecast dew points stay up. I mean, the humidity is going up. The temperatures are going up. It's going to feel more kind of like late summer than it is our late winter here over the next few days because where high pressure is anchored, here east of the state, it's pumping in a south wind. So it's not just us, it's the whole southeast is really, really getting warm. There's your big storm system we were just showing you with all the snow and the ice, but the front itself is not going to come through here. All the energy stays well, well to the north. Now, parts of the southeast may see a couple of showers by the end of the week, but for us, uh -uh. it stays quiet. Morning fog, afternoon warmth right through at least early next week. So partly cloudy, breezy and warm up to about 83 for your high today. Now we're also in a weather pattern which favors warmer inland and cooler along the coast. So while Tampa runs 82, 83, Sebring, you're gonna be close to 90 today. Clearwater Beach, you're gonna be closer to 80. So there's gonna be that big 10 degree temperature spread from the beach to our friends along Highway 27. That's the difference. So mild some fog late tonight again with a low of 68. And look at these numbers, 84 tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, 82 on Sunday. We're gonna stay in the 80s for the next seven days for highs and lows in the mid to upper 60s.